Yo, I'm Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, we are gonna look at the different ways that you can refresh a Power BI data set, including using Microsoft Flow. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, how do we refresh a Power BI data set? I've actually been seeing some questions online, either on Twitter, Facebook, or just emails that are coming my way in terms of questions about how to actually refresh something or how certain aspects work. And so I wanted to go through and just highlight the different ways that you can refresh, including a new option from Microsoft Flow that will allow you to actually trigger and then update that refresh. So enough of all this talking, let's dig into my laptop and see how this works. We are looking at Power BI and I am in a specific app workspace called Refresh Demo. This is where everything's gonna be. I've actually got four data sets currently in place. So one, two, three, four, we're gonna walk through all of these. The first is refresh demo one. So let me go to the report and let's just run this. And so we can see here that we've got a date time. So this is the date time that the data was refreshed inside of Power BI, inside the data set itself. And then we can see how many rows are actually in the table. We can see that this was updated, last updated at 12.09 PM. So what's interesting about this report is it's actually tied to a OneDrive share. And so if we look at, let me go back to the data set or back to the workspace, we'll go to settings. And we can see under advanced that this workspace is tied to the sales group OneDrive uh, area. If we go look at my sales group, we can see that I've got a Power BI desktop file here called refresh demo OneDrive. Now, what I can do here is when I go to get data, I go to files, you can pull a Power BI desktop file from OneDrive or a SharePoint document library as well. And when you do this, it is then tied, Power BI is tied to that OneDrive location. It knows where it is. And what'll happen is, is every hour or so, it'll actually go to refresh from the Power BI desktop file. A lot of people get confused about this. They think that, oh, every hour it's gonna trigger a refresh and it's gonna refresh all the data in my Power BI desktop file. That's not what it does. What it does is actually triggers and pulls whatever the current information is in that Power BI desktop file, it's gonna bring that into Power BI. And so if you haven't actually opened the Power BI desktop file and hit refresh, nothing's gonna happen. All right, let's look at that real quick. So let me go back, I will open, I've got these synced locally. So we can see here I've got sales group documents, general. So I've synced the actual OneDrive location or the SharePoint document library to my local hard drive. And so when I open this file, it's gonna go and get it from the cloud and bring it locally. And we can see here that it was last updated at 12.09 PM, which matches our report in the service. So now if I go ahead and refresh this report, bam, we'll actually see that it's 1.41 PM and this data is updated. So now when I save this, it's gonna actually save it back to that OneDrive location. And so if we come back here, we can see that it, Last modified an hour ago, if I refresh this page, can now see that it was updated a second ago. And then at some point in the future, Power BI is gonna pick this up from the OneDrive share and then I will re it will reflect the proper date in the report. So if I go back into the report, it still shows 12.09 PM. And one thing you can do to look here is if we go to the data set and we go to the settings of the data set, on the schedule refresh or on the settings page, we'll see refresh history. We can see there's two buckets here. One is scheduled, one is OneDrive. It's highlighting OneDrive and it's saying that it picked it up at 12.15 PM, the last time it picked it up from OneDrive. So you can actually see the separation between if I'm doing a normal refresh or if it's actually doing the refresh off of the OneDrive share or the SharePoint library. So this is a way that you can get the data updated without actually using a gateway. Now the challenge that you saw here was that I had to manually refresh the Power BI desktop file and then at some point Power BI is gonna pick up those changes. And so you need to figure out a way to update that Power BI desktop file. There are some third party things that are out there. Power Update from the Power Pivot Pro folks is one example of an item that you can use, but this is just an example that you can do this without a gateway and get that data updated. All right, so the next one is report demo two. This one shows that it was updated at 5.44 PM. Now what's interesting here is I've actually got what's referred to as scheduled refresh set up on this. So if we go to the data set for scheduled or report 
a refresh demo two. We can see here that it was last refreshed at 12.44 p.m. and its next refresh is tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. So it refreshed at 12.44 p.m. Anything on the service side is gonna be UTC time and so that is why we're seeing 5.44 p.m. even though it was really 12.44 p.m. So if we go into schedule refresh settings, we can see here, we go into refresh history, we can see that the scheduled refresh actually took place and it completed successfully. So you can go ahead and set up schedule refresh if your gateway and everything is set up. You don't need a gateway if it's just cloud sources, so that's something to consider. I can come down to schedule refresh, I can turn it on, and I can list the times that I wanna go ahead and refresh this report. The thing to note about schedule refresh is if I'm in a premium backed workspace, using premium capacity, I can do this up to 48 times a day, so every half hour. If I'm not backed by premium capacity, I'm limited to eight times a day that I can refresh this. So schedule refresh is an absolute way that you can go ahead and refresh your data on a timely manner. One thing you'll note also is that I have it set to 12.30 p.m. and you'll notice that it didn't trigger until 12.44 p.m. So you're not guaranteed to actually go at that time. It'll go within 10, 15 minutes of that window. So be aware of that as well. The other thing we can do here is if we go back to the report, or sorry, go back to the data set. I have another option here where I can say, just refresh it now. So let's go ahead and hit refresh now. It's gonna go ahead and refresh. And then you'll see that refreshed updated now to 1.45 p.m. If we go, let's go back and take a look at refresh history. We can see that I had an on-demand now, which was the refresh now. And I also had a schedule refresh that took place as well. So two different ways that we can go ahead and actually refresh the data in our report. All right, so we've got OneDrive back files where it'll pick that up every hour. We've got on-demand refresh. We've got schedule refresh. What else is there? Let's move on to the programmer's delight. And that will be using the API or PowerShell to actually update the data set itself. So we'll come back. Sorry, let's go to the report. Let's see what time it is. This shows 7.34 a.m., so it hasn't been updated at all in a while. So let's go back and we'll look at the data set. The data set also it, showing the last refresh time was 7.49 a.m. That's when the file was uploaded or the report was uploaded. There's no schedule refresh set up on this and API access has no information here. So what I'm gonna do is head over to PowerShell you can absolutely do this using REST APIs. So you can call them natively. There's also the C Sharp library where you can actually use that SDK to trigger the refresh as well. In this case, I'm actually gonna use the Power BI PowerShell commandlets and call that REST API for this given data set. And so we'll see here that I've got my URL and I've got my app workspace and my data set ID. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and run this. All right, so I'm logged in. So let me go highlight that line. We'll go ahead and run that line. Bam, all right, it has triggered the refresh in the service, just like that. So now if we go back to Power BI, we'll go and see, so we're interested in refresh demo three, and we'll see here that the refresh now is showing at 1.47 p.m., and if we come in and we look at our refresh history, we can see that it was listed as an on-demand refresh, and now if we go back to our report for refresh demo three, it now shows 6.47 p.m., remember that it's using UTC time, so it was really at 1.47 p.m., so that matches what we did in our data itself. So all right, that's cool. We got API, we got PowerShell, on-demand, schedule refresh, putting it in OneDrive or a SharePoint library. Now we get to the new item, which is using Microsoft Flow to actually update the data and refresh that data set. All right, so let's actually go through and create this. So I'm gonna go to Microsoft Flow, and I'm gonna create a new flow. And I wanna create an automated from blank, and I'm just gonna call it PBI refresh. And what I wanna do is update from SQL Server. So let's go ahead and do SQL. And I have two items here. I can update when, or I can trigger, so these are the triggers, right? So I can trigger when an item was modified, or I can trigger when an item is created. In this case, I wanna do it when a given value in a table gets updated. So let's go ahead and choose when an item is modified. We'll do create. And then let's go ahead and make sure we got the right connection set up. And then the table that I'm interested in here is called flow update. So let's talk about this table really quick. Let me jump over to Management Studio and I will go ahead and script out my flow update table. There's a couple caveats that I ran into. First is we have to have an ID column in here that is a primary key. 
This is if you want to actually track when an item's created. Also, you wanna have a column in here that's using the timestamp or row version data type. That's how it's gonna trigger off of whether something was updated. So that needs to be in place. So this table does have both of those. And what I'm gonna do here is, well, I'm just gonna update the process date column. And when I update that column, it should pick it up on the, the flow side should trigger and then update the refresh inside of Power BI. So let's finish creating the Microsoft flow. So we've got our database piece here, new step. I'm gonna choose search for Power BI, Power BI there. And then we're gonna refresh a data set. I'm gonna choose my refresh demo workspace. And we're gonna choose report demo four. All right, and then we're gonna save that. It's saved, let's go back. Yep. All right, we can see that's here, nothing has been run. So it's just sitting here waiting. All right, so let's go back to, just so you keep me honest here, we're gonna go back to our reports. We're gonna look at refresh demo four. It's showing 7.34 a.m. So again, nothing was changed. Go to our data set. We can see here that it was last refreshed at 12.06 p.m. That's when it was uploaded. All right, so let's go to SQL. There's two things I wanna do here. One is I've got a view here, which is actually limiting to the 100,000 rows. So let me go ahead and get rid of that. Cause I wanna see both updates. So before the report showed the time and that there was 100,000 rows. So let's go ahead and execute that. That's gonna alter the view, great. And then what's actually gonna trigger this is, let me go and look at the time. We'll say 1.53 p.m. All right, let's go and update the flow. Bam, all right, this table was now updated. So now the Microsoft flow is going to trigger. So let's go back to flow. And we'll refresh. And it hasn't triggered yet. What I found is this could take a few minutes before it actually triggers. I think the most I've had to wait is about five minutes, but let's see how long it takes to actually refresh it. Uh, at the time right now I've got is 154. It was 153 when I made the update inside of Management Studio. So let's see how long it takes. A few minutes later. All right, we refresh and we can see here that it updated or it triggered at 156 p.m. So only a few minutes later. Now, if we go back to Power BI, let's refresh this so we can look at the data set itself. And we'll see now it says 156 p.m. There is a saying that the data source was missing credentials. That's awesome. All right, so we will do that again. Date it to 1.58 p.m., never a dull life. And we'll wait a few minutes to see when it gets updated. A few minutes later. All right, again, about three minutes after. So now let's go back. Let's go to the data set tab, we'll refresh. So it's still showing an error. What the f All right, after fixing up a couple problems with the gateway not being set up correctly, let's go ahead and set this up. Uh, everything's fixed now. Let's go and update the flow. Go and execute it. Bam. Let's wait until this one actually gets triggered correctly on the flow side. A little longer than a few minutes later. Triggered off for the third time. Third time's a charm. Let's go back to Power BI. Let's refresh. Go to our data sets. Bam. Look at that. Refreshed at 2.07 p.m. If we come into, let's go into our refresh history. See, the first two failed because what can I say? We all make mistakes. And then for the third time, we did refresh. They were all on demand. This is good. Let's go back to our report, port demo four. And we can see now it's showing 7.07 p.m. and we've got 446,000 rows. I updated this data set using Flow by updating the database table. Now, where would that come in handy? It may be that you have like some ETL process and maybe part of the ETL process, it goes through and updates that table and then Flow's gonna pick that up and trigger the refresh. It's one example. A lot of examples I saw were of SharePoint, like the SharePoint list being up using that. So if an item's created inside of a SharePoint list, kick off a refresh on the data set. That seems really excessive to me because there's gonna be a lot of updates there. And if you're not backed by premium capacity, you're limited to eight refreshes a day. So that's gonna be problematic. In my example where, you know, hey, maybe it was an ETL process that updated a table and then Flow goes and kicks off the Power BI refresh, you could easily add that step into your ETL flow as well or your orchestration that you're doing. But maybe that's a different group that's doing that and they're not connected to Power BI. So this would be a great option for you to update based on that. And then it refreshes the data set as 
the data warehouse processing is done. So it's an interesting option for you. Just know that it's a tool in your tool belt and you can use that if the scenario fits. Basically anything that can trigger off of a flow can be used to go ahead and kick off that refresh for your data set. Lots of options. All right, I wanna pass this off to you. What did you think? Was Microsoft Flow an option for you now to actually refresh a data set? Which option do you use the most? I'm betting scheduled refresh and or you're doing something outside of it that's not imported. So let me know down in the comments below. I wanna hear it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button and as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.